Quick, graph y equals negative 3 halves times the quantity of the greatest integer of x minus 2 plus 3 by hand two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need graph paper or you can download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed any time during this video. We first need to decide what the parent function is and its shape. The parent function is y equals the greatest integer of x, which looks like this. It's a, sometimes called the step function. And notice that the left endpoints are closed and the right endpoints are open. Identify the parameters. These are values in the expression that affect the graph. And in this case, we have three different parameters. How do they affect the graph? Well, the minus 2 is inside the function, inside the greatest integer brackets. This shifts all points to the right, 2. The plus 3 outside the function shifts all points up, 3. And normally, the initial step has its left endpoint at 0, 0. But since we're shifting points to the right, 2, that'll affect the x coordinate. So it'll be the initial step will be at 2. And we're shifting all points up 3, that'll affect the y coordinate, so it'll be at 2, comma 3. So let's plot that point and put a step there. Negative 3 halves, the negative has the steps going downhill, and 3 halves is the height of the step. So now we can continue the dance by using that 3 halves, going down 3 halves from that this endpoint here, putting another step, do another three halves, down, and then we have another step, and we can continue this dance. Press pauses any, any time is needed. Notice that the left endpoints do long, lie along a line. I drew it in there. And uh, what is the equation of this line? So take a few seconds, pause, resume when you're ready to answer the question. And it turns out the equation is this equation. I have it in a little bit different form. But notice how it matches up with the equation that we graphed. Hmm. Second way is using a table. So these are our five key left endpoints on the greatest integer parent function. The minus two inside the bracket shifts points to the right two. And this means we add two to the x values to get that as the shift. So two plus two is four, and I think we can go ahead and finish those. Press Pause and resume when you're ready to see those four values. One plus two is three, and we get the rest of the values. Press pause as needed. The negative three halves multiplies each y value by negative three halves, while the plus three outside the function adds three to each y value. And from the order of operations, we multiply first and then we add second. So multiplying 2 times negative 3 halves is negative 3, plus 3 is 0. You can see that calculation being done right here. And then we can plot the point 4, 0 with a step. Go ahead and finish these four ordered pairs here. Plot the steps. Press pause. Resume when you're ready. One times negative three halves is negative three halves, plus three, which we'll think of as six halves. So it's easier to add and get three halves. So three comma one and a half. Zero times negative three halves is zero, plus three is three, two comma three. Negative one times negative three halves is positive three halves, plus six halves is nine halves. So one comma four and a half. And negative 2 times 3 halves is positive 3, plus 3 is 6, and so we plot 0, 6. 
Using the same pattern that you can see here, we can add a few more steps. Press pause as needed. Now you try one. Graph y equals 5 halves times the greatest integer of the quantity x plus 1 minus 2. Use either method or both for the practice. Press pause to do this and resume when you're finished to check your answers. And here's your answer in green with some hints on how to get that answer.